Hello, I am the Atheist Gamer, and today I am going to make a video response to this uh, short, short video that I, that, you know, thanks to Girl Does Rant, I managed to find. And you know, this one is actually kind of short, but you know what, I want to make a video response to it, so how about we get this over with right now? Let's begin! But can we die? Yes, thank God for that. Wait a minute. Great, right? Hmm. Something isn't right. When I saw that video, it was supposed to be a chick wearing sunglasses, not some random dude. Oh! <laughs> Now I remember, the video that I'm responding to is a, is a remake of another video that's apparently not as popular, but, you know, somehow the remake has managed to get more attention than the original. Why is it, exactly? Uh, what, is it because it's a woman and rather than a man? Well, it doesn't matter. The message is still pretty much the same thing. The only difference in the remake is it's just a little bit longer. That's about it. Hell, even the music doesn't change. I mean, the music is basically the exact same thing. So, why make a remake exactly? What's the point? But can we die? Yes, thank God for that. God? Yeah, well, what do you mean? What do I mean? Who in this day and age believes in a God? Well, I do. Why is that? Obviously you haven't noticed the wars, the destruction, the poverty, everything that's going wrong in this world. Really now? Where you're going to that direction? Do you really believe that anyone, any atheist, or pretty much any non-believer whatsoever is actually going to be so fucking riled up about God that just mentioning God, just by saying thank God, will, you know, make our spines shiver like crazy and start a debate with random people. I, this is not fucking true at all. Most atheists, you know, come across a YouTube video and speak out their mind on how stupid this shit is. Like what I'm doing right now. We don't go out of the streets, uh, you know, and, and when we hear the word God, the first thing that comes in our minds is, I gotta debate these people. I must prove to them that God does not exist. Are you really this incredibly Stupid! Yeah, well, I don't believe in dentists. We think about it, if, if there's such a thing as dentists then, why do so many people have broken, infected, and, and missing teeth? Well, I can't help but people are stupid enough to come and see the dentist and get their teeth fixed up and their mouth fixed up. Exactly, and that, that's the same way with God. You can't help anyone who doesn't come to him if they insist on doing things their own way. Really? Really now? Okay, okay. You do realize you're comparing a man who created the universe versus a man whose job is to take care of people's teeth. You're comparing a miracle worker and a man who checks people's teeth for a living. Unlimited power and limited power. <sighs> Okay, there's a reason why people have bad teeth. And one of the reasons is because they're too lazy. Some of these people are too goddamn lazy to take care of their own teeth. So they go visit the dentist and they can't take care of the teeth. Which cost this. Cash. Dollars. Money. You get the idea? It takes currency in order for you to get your teeth clean by the dentist. 
Now, it brings up my other point right now. Some people can't afford dental care. Like, hmm, let's see, how about the children starving in Africa? I know, I know, this has been overused and overdone. I get it, but trust me on this one, this is very appropriate. The children starving in Africa cannot afford dental care. Therefore, they're most likely going to end up having bad, bad teeth. And these dentists are not miracle workers. And they're definitely not going to clean your teeth for absolutely free. They need cash. They need money to do this stuff. They need something to make a living by. They're not... They're, your local dentist is not Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, what you just said was incredibly stupid, but I guess I got no comeback, so maybe I should start believing in God, you know. It's very inspirational, comparing me to God. That's a, that's a pretty smart move you got there, you know. Compare a man who cleans teeth for a living to a all-powerful being. Yeah, that... That makes sense. Now, I'm gonna show you the remake of this so cool video. <sighs> now, I don't know, of course, it's gonna be the exact same points, the exact same lines. The only difference is the ending. So, let's take a look. And how am I meant to come to God? Just talk to him. He's listening. Yep. And those are the three extra lines. That's about it. The rest just ends right there. Okay. God is listening. I doubt that. I am very, very doubtful about that. Because when I look at news reports, people praying to God, um, you know, praying to God to do some miracles, like heal a child without using any medicine or, you know, bringing rain to a dry country. <laughs> Listen, when I, when I see news like that, 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
then I think that would be flagged for copyright or whatever. Because I yeah, I find this shit to be this is complete bullshit. But you know, from every clip that I use is still under fair use. I gotta make a new intro. I gotta make um, a fair use sign, whatever. So uh, that's all. Okay. Again, follow me Facebook, Twitter, uh, Vimo, Daily Motion, whatever. Uh, I'll see you later then.